So as we close out what you've been doing in Inkscape, some closing thoughts and next steps here on uh, some guidance on where to go now. So first of all, now is the time to experiment. You're only doing two holes. The reason why we have you do two holes is because you're going to make a mistake. And it's better that you have we, we have you make a mistake on one or two holes and only have to redo maybe an hour's worth of work rather than doing all 18 holes and having to redo a lot of work. And also now is the time to experiment. So like I said, put a couple of different shapes in there. See if you can break Clender. See if you can fix shapes in Clender. Okay. Understand the entire process. So we're going to have you take these two holes. We're going to have you move on. We're going to have you go through Unity. We're going to have you go through Greenkeeper. You're going to load it up in GS Pro and you're going to hit a couple balls. Make sure your course works. You're going to get to understand the entire process and how you do things in Inkscape can impact things that you do later on in Unity. So it helps you make more intelligent decisions. At this moment, don't get hung up on the details. Okay. So you might want to spline every single pine straw, um, you know, landscape area on your course. Don't worry about that yet. Okay. Do that later on. You're going to come back and you're going to spline the rest of your course in Inkscape. At that point, you have a better knowledge of what's going on. Then you can start adding those details. Okay. Don't do it yet. Um, at this point, you're going to move on to the terrain digging videos. And let me just show you kind of where they're at. I'm showing you this before they're all done, so it's a little tough. Uh, let me go here, escape out. So here are, is my draft. This would be the Inkscape section that you're working through right now. And this is going to look a little bit different when you actually see this. Here's spawning your first two holes. Here's the splining the rest of your course. But after this, there's digging your terrain. Okay, so this is what we're going to have to work on before we can form your stuff and get into Blender. So go down to these videos and work down through those and understand those at this point and skip their spawning the rest of your course. You're going to come back and do this after you go through everything else. Okay, so go down to the, the digging videos. And then the last thing here is, um, I guess that's it. Come back to this. Well, after you're done, after you hit a couple balls in GS Pro, come back to the section right after this in Inkscape, which is called Splining the Rest of Your Course. And that's where you're going to get into a lot more detail. And I'm going to show you how to update your, your Inkscape um, to do the rest of your course. Okay. Good luck and uh, move on.